Welcome back everyone to some more Resident Evil 4 here on Longmeister Gaming. We are at the start of chapter 12 and I am super excited to see what happens next in this thing. Let's get cracking. Here we go. You're a fine knight, Don Quixote. You won't get away with this, Krauser. Okay. We definitely haven't seen the last of Krauser. We know we're going to have a big face-off with him at some point here in the future. That's going to be after the whole Ramon thing, which I got to believe we are getting a lot closer to. Don't know that it's going to happen in this episode, but it's going to be close. We'll see. So listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Ah, uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful? Yeah, you should. <laughs> oh, Ada. <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> yeah, you should. Sell a scratched emerald. I don't have a scratched emerald. Deface Ramon's portrait. Okay. Alright, that looks like that's back in the throne room area. Hello, stranger. And get some goodies here real quick, guys. And uh wait a minute. There we go. So let's say I can't, I'm going to have to get some stuff situated here. I will probably skip the merchant stuff here. Let's see. Now I can pick that up. Nice. Let's see what else we got laying around here. If anything, I don't want to edit that out. Okay, a little bit of money. Here we go. I was going to say we got something else here. Cool, small key. Nice. Okay. And looks to be looks to be about it. We can unlock that door. We can go back through there to get to the throne room. And when you go around and over and to the right, and it does look like we have a treasure over here that is locked. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and do some inventory management here. I'm going to edit this. I think you guys are probably bored to death with this stuff at this point. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. All right, guys, I am back. And this time I did not forget to equip my thing to give me the discount on the knife repair. I'm going to go ahead and save it up after that inventory management, and we are going to get cracking. I don't know about that scratched emerald thing that I picked up that work order for. As far as the thing for Ramon's portrait, um, defacing it, I do think that I, I've read that somewhere that you basically just like throw an egg on his face to complete that. He honestly doesn't have anything left that I'm interested in, the merchant I'm talking about. Uh, with the spinels and I just as soon use the eggs as healing items or to sell them but I mean I don't know I'll think about it we'll see
this isn't too bad of a trip here, really. This is just kind of sort of straightforward. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'll tell you, just about every time I open my mouth about something like that, I get end up getting burnt. So, looks like we've repopulated with enemies through here. Ah, oh, man. I, oh, my gosh. Started me there a little bit. Hopefully, I can use this doorway here to. Ah, oh, closed. Let's see if they come through it. A lot of times, the enemies will come through the door. Doesn't. Uh, doesn't look like they're going to. Ha. Huh. Now, I was hoping to be able to cheese them through the door like I've done a bunch of times. At least this little one came out. That's at least one of those down. Take that. Man, those things are crazy. I'm really, I'm really disappointed with the way this episode is going so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I have royally screwed this up and I've wasted all kinds of ammo. How disappointing. Them guys are still alive, still back up there. What a massive waste. I sure hope this is worth going in here. I got a feeling the answer is going to be no. Oh, wow. It looks so cool, though. Man, I hope I can recoup some of my stuff from some of these vases and stuff in here. That's more stuff on that servant. Give me some goodies. Yeah, most of those haven't been too bad. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, a golden egg. I'll be taking this. Alright, and obviously they put these chickens here because this is going to be that situation where on these pictures you can do that one thing to get the spinels. And 
I'll be honest with you, I'd rather just have the eggs, use them for healing. The gold one I can either sell or use for a lot of healing. I think the gold one functions as a, um, like a first aid spray almost. Technically speaking, I think if you have two golden eggs in your inventory, I think that you can actually use them in the Ramon fight to get rid of them pretty quickly. Of course, I already got rid of the one golden egg. I don't think you can buy back the golden egg once you sell it. I turned that in for that uh, one quest thing or work order. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. There's no time for us. That is like so awesome. I believe that's a direct throwback to the original game on the GameCube. Let's we'll see if I can get these chickens to drop any more eggs. If not, we're going to fast forward. Yeah, I tried and tried to get them to drop more eggs so I could get a nice little collection of healing items there, and it, it did not work. I, did, I got zero more eggs. So, anyways, I gave it about, I don't know, five minutes there or whatever. Okay, we just gotta make our way back over here. And, uh, well, that sucks. I was not expecting enemies here. Wow. Well, picked up the healing item that I that was sitting in the center of the room at least. like that in almost all games I play though. Anything that has like a block mechanic or a counter mechanic or whatever, I'm just not that good. The only reflexes are not what they used to be. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and go do some more inventory management here real quick. Alright, I'm back. Just no sense in you guys having to watch me do all that. I'm so indecisive when it comes to the merchant stuff anyways. I've just been like that the whole series. Let's see here's what we got. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that golden egg. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or use it, but just having it is cool. I think, you know, like, if I had the other golden egg, I would try to see about that Ramon trick. But we are going to be looking at grabbing a rocket launcher for that fight. Because I do not want to burn through what ammo I have, and it's guaranteed to take the majority of my ammo if I just try to fight him straight up. I know that may sound like I'm chintzing out, but hey, the rocket the rocket launcher is there for purchase for eighty thousand, and that's that's just I'm going to spend the coins. I'll probably have to sacrifice off a gun or two to have the money to do it, but I think it'll be worth it. Oh. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder. I was going to say, I didn't think I would be fighting him here. Just a little cutscene there. I, I didn't think it was Tom yet. Man, look at that guy there. 
can get a headshot through all that and probably just waste the uh, ammo. I'd say I'd feel good with, what, 38 rounds of rifle ammo, but I just don't. <laughs> There's been too many times in this game where I've had a huge stockpile like this and just absolutely burnt through it. Love to get some of these guys to actually drop rifle ammo. I'll take gunpowder as well, though. Trying to lure any of them into this doorway, just kind of sort of use it as a choke point if I can. I see another guy over there to the right, at least. Oh wow, no. I, I think maybe he was just laying there alive. Like, I didn't see that, uh, what was it, gunpowders? I didn't see that appear until I shot the handgun. So much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. <laughs> that was all. All right. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time as always. If you do enjoy this content, please try to leave a like for the video and help the channel out. And uh, kind of sort of get into, trying to get into the habit of saying that if you do enjoy my content and you're not subscribed to the channel, please uh, consider throwing a sub my way. I appreciate uh, anyone and everyone. The more the merrier, so to say. <laughs> and we got six more of those collectibles to get. I mean, I, I'm sure I've missed at least one or two, at least. I'm not going to get a whole collection, but I should get pretty close. Some more rifle ammo here. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping for a uh, bonus there. It's nice when that bonus procs and you get those extra three rounds. Like I said, every little bit makes a difference. We just help off offset when I screw up and miss. Oh my gosh, what in the world? See, it would have been nice to get that bonus on that crafting for that screw up there. I don't know why those didn't hit though. It looked like I had him dead, dead to rights. There. 
you. We got multiple treasures in this clock tower area. One treasure down. my mic is picking that up or not but my dog is she is carrying her food into here and eating it and then going back and getting another mouthful of food and bringing it in here and eating it and just chomping it like crazy that's hilarious she does that all the time though. typically not while i'm in the middle of recording a session though it's usually i'll usually be like sitting in my living room and she'll bring a mouthful of food in and be like, hey, won't you watch me eat this? It's like I said, it's like I never feel comfortable. It's like no matter how much ammo I have, I just don't feel comfortable. Just end up doing stupid stuff like this and waste a ton of rounds. Wow, and I got hit. I get frustrated with myself. It's just ridiculous. Shoddy shells, I'll gladly take those. Sorry about the cut there, guys. My Elgato ran out of memory space. I had to switch to new uh, micro SD, or really not know micro how to SD, SD well. card. Uh, you did miss a cut scene there. There was a brief cut scene with a guy pulling a lever. Um, yeah, I apologize for that. I, I hate when stuff like that happens while I'm recording. One terabyte of data that I can record, which I've got four 250 gig cards. And, you know, every once in a while I get caught in the That was nice. A lot of times what happens though is I'm recording and I don't, you know, because I have to glance over from time to time because my Elgato has got a little, it's got a little blink and a red light on it so I know that it is actively recording. And sometimes I'll play and lose with a bunch of footage. I only lost about a minute of footage there, so not too bad. I don't even know if it was a minute of footage, honestly. Probably not even. So at least caught it early. 
know the uh, the Elgato that I use for all of my PS5 videos. It doesn't have like great reviews. I know maybe you don't want to hear about this during a Resident Evil 4 playthrough, but I was going to talk about it anyways. Uh, uh, I've got the Elgato as 4K 60S Plus or whatever. You can just pop the cards in and out of. It doesn't require a computer to use or anything. And then I just take those and pop them onto my uh, gaming computer and do my editing in Adobe Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro. Uh, what is it? Vegas Pro. I think I've got Vegas Pro 19, I think, is the one I have. Uh, anyways, um, I mean, I love it. I've never had any issues with it or anything, but of all the Elgato products, that is one of the ones that's, like, actually reviewed pretty poorly. I think a lot of people have had a lot of issues with, like, getting actual, like, video signals with their Elgato 4K 60S Pluses. I have never had that issue. I've been very fortunate. Uh, but I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I use it for my uh, Switch videos. I don't use it for my Xbox Series X videos. I do just uh, record on the Xbox and then take my drive and just plug it into my computer and do my editing that way. I'm sure there are more straightforward, easy ways to do things, but this Elgato is, I think it's one of the only items on the market that allows you to do the, you know, like the 4K... 60 HDR pass through plus the actual like recording in 60 instead of because most I think most of them only allow for 4K 30 FPS uh, recording. I think this is one of the only ones on the market that allows for 60. Anyways, that's my side tangent. Sorry about that if you weren't interested in that little uh, Elgato side uh, nugget of information. Right, extravagant clock, nice. Take it. Looks like we got one more treasure here. Looks like it's on that ledge above me. Huh. I don't know how I get up there. Yeah, I think it's up there above me. Um. Hmm. It anywhere else. It's got to be up there above me. I don't know how I... I'm not sure how I get up there to that. Huh. Might have to edit this if I keep wasting time here on this. I wonder if I can go... I wonder if I can go up the ladder that I came down to get into this area and then just cut over that way. I might have to try that. I'm not seeing... I don't see any other way to do it. Yeah, I don't see any other way to get up there. But that's that's where it's gotta be. Let me see here. You go up here and see. If this isn't it, I'm just gonna edit all this out. Oh, there we go. It's making that way harder than it needed to be. Mirror with pearl and rubies. Nice. Alright, let's get down here and pull this lever and see what's what. Again, nothing bad will happen, Leon. It's okay. A lift. How thoughtful. Yeah, how thoughtful. Oh, it's oh, great. Take this guy out fast. I do not want to deal with a bunch of quag it. Here in front. Oh wow! <laughs> I hit that pole perfectly. Wow! That really sucks. Get him! You don't 
There we go. Got him. Saw him drop his lantern there. Oh my lord. I am not. I am gonna be in trouble here. Back. I'd like to recoup some of that uh, rifle Shit. ammo I wasted. Come on. Oh my lord. I'll tell you what, this has not been a good episode for me overall. I have made a ton of mistakes and I have wasted a lot of ammo and a lot of healing items. I am sorry guys, I have been sucking it up this episode. I'll use that. Chanters, and he is bringing out the Plaga and the enemies. That's uh. Now the body armor's gone. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the top of this ride or not here, guys. Right there. He's getting ready to turn. Let's see what I've got here. I've got. I'm gonna have to make some shotgun rounds. There we go. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping for a bonus, but it is what it is. Seven rounds are better than one. <laughs> Back on reload again. Come on. I may have been more frustrated this episode than I have been the entire series. I am just sucking up. No healing items. Down to a niblet of health. Just a tiny little nibble of health again. Death is always knocking on my door. Man, get that healing item right now. Thank you. Getting by about the skin of my teeth again here, guys. Oh, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything up here. Let's see. I like to go back to inspect and some dude shoots me from below with like a crossbow bolt. Game over. Nice. Wow, that entire sequence is pretty terrible. Ashley. Ashley. Yeah, we're, we're almost to the fight. We are almost to the Ramon fight. I'm going to say that it didn't happen in this episode, but we are close. Let's see anything else. <laughs> so neat. I love how you can like look at like the places you've been and stuff with the binoculars. We're about to leave all this behind though. I mean after the Ramon fight, I mean we'll be 
we shall be departing, I believe, this whole area. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, then we're off to that the uh, island bitch. area. I will take these guys up out while I'm up here. It's fitting. I gotta gotta waste at least one more round before the end of the episode, right? Hey, we got a treasure up here, it looks like. As long as I don't fall to my death. I'm not trusting this. There it is. Let's see what goodies we get. Yellow diamond. That could not come at a better time. I'm going to be doing a ton of inventory management. Oh, breaks over, I suppose. Okay, I might have to do a ton of inventory management here. I want to get the um, rocket launcher, and I, I mean, I'm it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna have to do so much work here. Let me see what else we got here, if anything. Yeah, herb, that's huge. Huh? Let's see what's up here. Yeah, this I'm probably gonna sell the what the broken butterfly. I may even sell the bolt thrower. I can finagle around with my treasures and all that stuff. Hey, heavy grenade resource. I mean, we are getting close here. Go ahead and. Get my trinket situated so I can do my knife repair. Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? Good is new. Good luck to you, stranger. Go ahead and sell our mirror and a gold bar. A deal well struck. <laughs> it's sitting at almost 50,000. I'm gonna have to do some work here. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Yeah, so he just he just said might want to take over any leftover errands before going this way. So we are finally here. I'm going to get some stuff situated. We're going to end the episode here. Uh, when we get started in the next episode, I'll have done my inventory management and we will get cracking down the hillside to the good old Ramon fight. I may let that be an episode all by itself. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your time. And if you enjoyed this video, please try to leave a like and help the channel out. And until the next one, guys, Longmeister out. Peace. Jay, to live the rest of your life wondering, what if?